the differences among ES6 ECMA A script 6 and JavaScript ECMA stands for Arabian Computer Manufacturer Association ECMA is the association that puts out the guidelines for JavaScript in all browsers and here references links three links on so the design process after E6 what is after ES6 starting with this script 2016 ES7 TC39 will time box releases a new version of ESMA script will be released every year with whatever features are ready at the time. That means that from now on schema script, ESMA script versions will be relatively small upgrades for more information on the new process including finished and upcoming feature proposals consult the GitHub java versus or javascript versus ecma script javascript is uh, what everyone calls the language but that name is trademarked by oracle which inherited the trademark from sun company therefore the official name of javascript is esecma script that name comes from the standards organization ecma which manages the language standards since ISMA scripts inception. So ISMA is stands for Arabian Computer Manufacturer Association. So for upgrading to ES6, the stakeholders on the web are implementers of JavaScript engines, developers of web applications, and users. These groups have remarkably little control over each other that's why upgrading a web language is so challenging on one hand upgrading engines is challenging because they are confronted with all kinds of code on the web some of which is very old you also want engine upgrades to be automatic and unnoticeable for users therefore ES6 is a sub super set of es5 nothing is removed es6 upgrades the language without introducing versions or no modes it even manages to make strict mood the de facto default via modules without increasing the refit between it and sloppy mode the approach that was taken is called one javascript and explained in separate chapter on the other hand upgrading a code is challenging because your code must run on all javascript engines that are used by your target audience therefore if you want to use es6 in your code you only have two choices first you can either wait until no one in your target audience uses an non es6 engine anymore that it will take years mainstream audiences were at that point with respect to es5 when es6 became a standard in june 2015 and es5 was standardized in december 2009 or you can compile es6 to es5 and use it now thank you for watching this video and hearing this you can uh, more go for more information through the uh, internet you can search you can search through this youtube channel if you are not subscribed to the channel subscribe to reach every new video we upload and don't forget to uh, like and share this video with others thanks for watching